that trillion dollars, we don't know where they invested it. They did not need money. They had no liquidity crisis. They laughed all the way to the bank. They came because they needed a, a credit rating. And they left the trillions of dollars of our money, which they invested somewhere. We need to know where they invested it. Total way transparency. Way, way Top by Martin, human rights, fight the races, stop that fight. Never met a race, it really make us sick. A racist politician is a special kind of thing. Expose and attack in any way that you can. Create an opposition, black, white, red, brown, and tan. That is the taxpayer's money, and therefore we have a right to 50% share on any profit they made from those investments. We are now owners in Wall Street as American people. Hey, that Chuck is shooting, don't get Wall Street no more. Get back the people's money, give it to the poor. What you think you're doing with that Wall Street we made? Give the money back, Chuck, give me for it's too late. What about the charter schools? I hear that they're great. The hedge funds are invested for the huge tax rebate. Oh, yeah. Once the tax break's over, up go the interest rates. Stop Wall Street's education plan before it's too late. Oh. And America's greatest national security is educating for youth. There's no greater risk than an illiterate population to uh, the security of a nation. So what I'm saying to Albany and to the state of New York, that it is time that we invest in America's national treasurer, that we democratize education for all college students, that every college student in the United States be guaranteed at a public institution four years of free education, no loans. By democratizing our education and lifting up our college students, and not just those in New York, but those around the country. And I'm going to tell you right now, for sure as I work with Medgar Evers and Martin King and all of that batch back in the 60s, coming into the early 70s, for those who survived that long, I am willing to go to every molehill, anthill, every toilet, back alley, whatever there is in Washington, include the Senate chambers, to fight on behalf of America's youth. I am willing, as willing now as I was then, to give my life to make sure that there is a democratic education for every child in this country. I don't care where they come from. How do we do it? We need a, a tax on wall profiteers, a 15% surtax on wall profiteers who are profiting from the murder and slaughter of young kids all over this world.